lesson on sharing. You know, kids got to learn how to share, right? right. right yeah. So uh, I picture, you know, you got a room full of kids. You split them into two groups, right? Mm -hmm. Each group gets a box. Okay. Now, inside one of those boxes is, of course, shards of broken glass. You know, jagged pieces you find out in the parking okay. lots and things. Okay. Okay. Then the other group has their box, uh -huh. and of course, it has band aids, right? right I mean, yeah. you know, mostly not used. It will try to, you know, but budget, you never know. So, anyways, you teach them to share those boxes, the broken glass, the band-aids, it's beautiful. And the, the, the great thing about it is you really don't have to give a lot of direction. I mean, really all you have to do is say share. Uh -huh. And you know what, kids are smart these days. They'll figure out a way to share those things. Right, yeah, it's true. So, I mean, you know, if you need help even this Sunday, I mean, I, I could really, I could just run with that if you okay. want. Okay, okay, yeah, um, I, I wrote it down. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, so I'll think about it and uh -huh. uh, I'll get back to you. I got the glass. I got the band-aids. <laughs> Memorize 911. So I was reading in the Bible, it's talking about um, if you have sawdust in your eye, right? Um, then well if somebody else has sawdust in their eye, then you need to take out the big big log or beam in your eye Plank. before you can see. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I was thinking, we give the kids some sawdust, okay. we give the kids some planks, uh, I don't know how we're going to find a way into the eyes, we'll figure something out, Okay. and then they'll be able to see which ones are easier to remove when they have their own removed. You have a stick in your eye. You have a stick in your eye. You have a stick in your eye. No, you do. Bulk order visine. Two of them. Ready okay. for this? Yeah, yeah. So the first one, I think we need to teach them how freeing it is to confess their sins. Okay. So I think what we can do is tell them that it's a safe place for them and they go to the front and just say all the dirty, rotten things they've thought about their siblings. Okay. I like it when the aliens take me away. Sometimes I beat up Brett Hess. Okay. Perfect. And the next one, I want to teach them about the power of the Holy Spirit. So right. we'll create giant tongues out of construction paper, hang them from the ceiling, and give them all lighters, and they light them on fire. It's like tongues of fire. Yeah, yeah, just like in Acts. Yeah! Okay, all right. Yeah, there you okay, go. Cool. How do you spell liability? And so I figured if you went off of that, that spirit, fire, tongue stuff, okay. you could, if the kids kept the lighters, you could come back the next week and do some Old Testament stuff, and so okay. we could reenact the, the whole story with Moses and the burning bush and the Lord being in the bur bu burning bush. Right, right, right. And there are tons of tumbleweeds around here. Okay. So you can just grab a tumbleweed and light it on fire with all the kids' lighters. Background check, Louisianians. Taking the kids to a prison for the Scared Straight program, right? Right. Get them in there with those gangsters, those hoodlums. Get them right in their face. Okay. So they learn early. Right. Follow Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Hire child psychologist. I think we need to teach the kids worship. Okay, I like it. So that they can like express their souls. Right. But okay. I think we need to teach them 70s worship. You can't get to heaven, get to heaven and a roller skate, roller skate. Oh, you can't get to heaven. It takes a spark to get a fire going. I heard you were going to use these anyways. The Lord. Kumbaya, sing it Chad from the heart. Can warm up to its glowing. The kingdom of God and, and his roller skate. Sing it, can't get to heaven in a roller skate. Can't get to heaven in a roller skate. Yes, <laughs> and now I shall wait. Restraining order for Dave, 50 feet minimum. 